Sink check in three, two, one. Sink. Sink. Okay, right on top of it. <laughs> You're trying really hard not to burp. <laughs> okay. Video in three, two, one. Click. Hello, welcome to I Can't Do It. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Are we starting this? So this is So this is what was it? Novix Grub? No is it Grub. <laughs> Seek help. <laughs> I'm fine, I swear to god, I'm not almost like dying and having my esophagus like expel itself from my body between recordings. Well, at least we know it can go floating off into the sunset. It's got enough gas in there. <laughs> oh, see, I'm fine. As soon as we start the commentary, it's just completely over. It, it's totally psychosomatic. I don't understand it. It started up somewhere around XCOM 2, and I don't, I don't, I just, I can't. Anyway, Goblin Wolf Riders, about 11 of them. I'm actually kind of thrilled that three of them decided to just to charge the line and pretty much commit suicide. Yep. It's one dead dog. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, notable things. Uh, we have Rail over there with his incredible Mobius mustache and a great axe. I mean, I just... I don't know if it was the previous helmet, but I just never noticed how amazing that mustache is. I want to know, at, like, at what point did someone... Like, you have the shaving technology. You have the ability to remove portions of your beard. Yeah. And trim it and keep it neat. And someone says, "You know what? I'm gonna do like an like an inverse goatee. <laughs> I'm gonna shave just my chin. I mean, yeah, it looks distinguished. <laughs> Everyone Certainly. will know I'm a gentleman <laughs> because no sane person would actually do this. That is, I would really love to." know how the Mobius actually came to be, because you're right, that is a hell of a thought process to come up with that facial hair. <sighs> like the whole so, Viking Viking thing, you know, get big beards and braid them. Yeah. Like, okay, like, sure. You know, Keeps lots of facial hair. everywhere, you know? Dwarves tuck theirs into their belt buckles. Like, just shaving off the chin. Why? I wish things would be one hex closer to travel up. Because then he could take a second swing. Yeah, that is a little bit of the drawback of Berserk. Well, it's not a drawback of Berserk. It's a drawback of his weapon taking 6 AP to swing. Well, right. I mean, you just barely don't have enough AP to swing, take a step, and then swing again. Right. Or take a step in this one twice. Yeah. These guys, uh, last time we were out in this direction, we had a whole bunch of goblin wolf riders that just decided to run in circles and get hit by archers constantly. This time they're much more prone to engage. Well, you're not on top of the plateau with limited access points. That is true. They do have rail and a knight at the top at a bit of a disadvantage, but... I had to put, like, Klaus in the back just to make sure they didn't circle around and get to the archers or anything, but everywhere else they're collapsing, so those four wolf riders. Well, there's... Wait. Hey. There's, there's eight on the field. There's four up there. There's, uh, there's probably another one in the shroud down south somewhere. Maybe just standing in one of those bushes. Right. Well, not that one. I mean, you've got this. Wolf Riders are dangerous by virtue of the, being the only thing in the game that can actually flank. Minus one thing we haven't seen yet. They don't really. And those cheat. Uh, yeah, they they cheat like hell. Fuck those things. <laughs> well, good news, you're gonna be seeing them. Oh. Oh God. Oh, Rail's beautiful face. Ow. Oh, come on. Fuck. Yep. Rip that guy. Yeah. 
that was four straight attacks on Knight that killed him. Uh, the first one landed pierced leg muscles, which I believe I was just discussing how much that sucks. Yeah. So, that was just really some great bullshit right there. Knight went from perfectly fine to dead uh, before he got to take a turn, or anybody got to take a turn to try to help out. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was actually the next goblin that killed him. It was. Uh, yeah. Goblin number one hit him three times in a row, and then the other goblin got the fourth and final hit on him. Yeah. But, I mean, but... theoretically, if initiative had lined up, someone might have been able to move between them and save them, but... Right. Yeah, goblins being goblins, they tend to have similar initiative. Yeah, and tends to be much higher than anyone wearing any amount of armor. I'm, I'm really pissed about that one. Like, I've been kind of getting close to death in these last fights, Napster almost ate it, etc. But, you know, that's that's a process to wear through their armor, and I usually have time to do something about it, to try to retreat them, or to occupy the things, trying to kill them. That was just straight, full health to dead, before I could do anything about it. And that, that would really just, just kick in the balls. You're never entirely safe in Battle Brothers. It's, I mean, especially, you know, pierced leg muscles. What might have been, like, a 20% chance to hit turns your subsequent attacks into a 50%. And that's just kind of how things go. It's, it's why the, uh, the perk that makes it more likely to inflict injuries can be really good. Oh, yeah, crippling strikes. Crippling strikes, yeah. Because, you know, one of those injuries you can inflict is pierced leg muscles. It yeah. makes it just way easier to take down enemies. Uh, speaking of which, I think I'm starting to pick that up. As uh, some of our people get up towards level 8, level 9, level 10, Brawny and Crippling Strikes are starting to become some of my go-to picks, just because I would really like to inflict those injuries on people early in combat. Yeah. And Travelog has pierced arm muscles, which sucks, but, I mean, it's offense, so he's still just as survivable. So, the Wolf Rider... Has a couple of Achilles tendon. Is it the wolf or the goblin who has that? And is that injury going to still be there when you knock him off the dog? The first answer is yes, and the second answer is no. <laughs> now, I, I'm not sure if it was this thread or like the main thread where someone was talking about it, but it, it actually spawns a new unit. Yep. Uh, and you'll actually see that when the combat ends. Combat is going to end with a wolf rider getting de-wolfed, but it despawns the wolf rider unit, and it's like, oh, there's no more enemies left uh, on the board. Round over. Despite that normally, you know, the rider should still be there. Right. So, uh, no, injuries you deal to the wolf rider as a combo do not persist once one or the other dies. <laughs> See? Boom. Round over. Yep. Rip Fucking night. Poor night. Goddamn. This just went pretty well otherwise. I mean, Rail and Klaus and Travelog actually just kind of sucked. Took injuries. Uh, and then Knight just fucking ate it and died. I don't remember what Knight actually had. Uh, Coffin Shield and a, uh, a spear. He was one of our original, no, maybe not original, but he'd been in the company a long time. He wasn't of a uh, of a great background, so he'd been uh, a spearman, but he'd been middling. Yeah, but he'd been solid this entire time. Like we couldn't have gotten to where we were or are without him. Well, he died a glorious death, surrounded by asshole goblins, like everyone does. <laughs> goblins are assholes in this game. We hate them for a reason. <sighs> well, it's time to head back to uh, Heldenburg. Uh, turn this contract in. Uh, and that's actually going to be it for this update. We're going to make this a short one. I was just so distraught over the loss of night, I just decided to fucking wrap it up and post this. Uh, so thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you next time.